Hi, everybody. I'm Jones. And I'm Man. And, and we're, we're Jones, Jones and Man. Man. <laughs> and today, we are Jonesing over this tequila, Corralejo. Silver. Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> Silly here, but you know, we um, started our adventure into tequila a couple episodes back, and we said we we're gonna try a couple of new different things in tequila. Um, this was actually referred to me by someone, thanks, you know who you are. Um, this Coralejo, uh, it is, I don't really, you know, I, I've, I've never had it before, so I don't know really a lot about it. Jones, were you able to kind of find out anything, you know? I could. It was amazing how much, how little I could find about on it. Um, I do know it's a hundred percent blue agave. Okay. It is a uh, mid range price. It was, I think, it was about thirty two dollars a bottle. Okay. So, uh, hope it's not too bad for silver. Not too bad for cheaper, silver. Cheaper than Patron. Cheaper than Patron. Uh, definitely uh, more expensive than the uh, Hornitos. Mm hmm. So uh, yeah, and the uh, El Himador. Yeah, which yeah, 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 definitely much more expensive than the uh, humidor. Um, so I'm I'm kind of curious about how it tastes, but um, it, it, one thing I did notice is that it is from it, it's not from um, Jalisco. J yeah, yeah, that's Jalisco. yeah, Jalisco, <laughs> yeah. The, the the typical or the normal place where you get a lot of your tequilas from. So I'm I'm really excited about just trying to see how it tastes because it, you can find so little about it. Well, you know, the big thing about tequila is it's not for reading and learning. It's for drinking. So um, I say we stick to our house rules. Let's bust this bottle on open and um, let's get the brass eye. Oh, this has a cork. Yeah, it has a cork. It has a nice little, uh, it, it's, it's bottled well. Yeah. And, and it is um, unaged, comes yep. directly off the steel. So, Ooh, yeah, that's 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 tequila. Mm. I think what was my comment on the last time we did tequila that you didn't like it. Yeah, yeah, I don't like tequila. Yeah. Um, so uh, you remember I, I told you I was reading that Benjamin Franklin thing, so I made the comment earlier about the brass eye, uh, which was another way of getting drunk. Um, that's what tequila is known for and good for. Um, so um, let's pour us up a couple. Oh wow. <laughs> That has a very strong tequila smell. Yeah. Let's clink them and drink them. Clink them and drink them. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, put this on some ice and see if we can get some of that. Um, see if we can uh, get some, some flavors out of them. Um, and, and, and try to review this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, whew, I think it's, it's definitely different than I expected. What was the Ben Franklin one? The, the brass eye? Yeah, the brass eye. Well, yeah. well, this, is, um, this will definitely <laughs> give you the brass eye. <laughs> it might give you a black eye. <laughs> All right, we got a little on, on we'll Switch that around a little bit. Yeah, uh, well, you, like I said, I've said before, tequila is always something that is... It's a, it's a very distinctive taste and flavor that comes with tequila. Um, if you've got something that, it's like gin. If you've got something that's got tequila or gin in it, well, yeah, we, we all had our nightmare. Viewers, you'll notice that we've, we've never reviewed anything with gin, and we probably never will. Uh, we may we may try to, well, because the, we just... The craziest thing is, you know, gin is basically vodka with Jupiter in it, so... It, you would think, well, maybe I can taste it, but yeah, no. I think that makes it. Yeah. That is what tastes. We, we, we taste had like we that. had a bad a couple bad nights with yeah. gin, so that, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's 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 not on it's not on the uh, on know, the place. Let's let's uh, clink these and clink them and drink. Ah, uh, whoo. Um, I'm gonna say let's go right into the review. Yeah, so, so 
You want to lead the way? You want me yeah, to lead the way? Yeah, I will lead the way. Uh, you got your Cosmel Mexico shirt on, so I, I think you, you're in a tequila drinking zone. So what do you think? It, you know, I would actually wear this shirt if I drank this all the time. <laughs> just pay, just to prepare myself for the um, late night of uh, dancing with the water closet. Dancing with the water closet. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, know, play, uh, praying to the porcelain god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is, uh, the, the shot was absolutely horrible okay. for me. I'm not a tequila person. Um, I do understand that tequila is supposed to be um, one of the healthiest alcohols to drink. True. But Because of the agave. Because, because of the agave. agave. Um, that shot was absolutely horrible to me. I, <laughs> I, I really wanted to just kind of spit it out. But, you know. You powered through. You powered through. Powered through, manned up. Um, so far as when you put it on the rocks, it does. Um, when you, you put it on the rocks, you do get to taste more of the flavor. And it brings it back. And it makes it um, slightly more palatable. But um, for me, I actually, believe it or not, like the uh, humidor a lot more than this. Yeah. So um, this isn't as oily as the uh, humidor was. And maybe because it was aged. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, this this one is, is definitely a flop. I would not, um, I, I cannot see myself paying $30 or 30 plus dollars um, for this tequila again. If, if I'm going to pay that much, I would just go ahead and spend the extra money for the um, Patron. Uh, you know, um, I think I would probably say for me it's going to be a flop too. And here's why. Uh, for a Blanco, which is supposed to be, you know, traditionally it's the lighter, less flavorful um, when you compare, compare a Blanco to a Añejo or silver to an Añejo and Resposado. Mm -hmm. Um it is, but it's extremely flavorful. It's strong. Um, it it all it it, it kind of almost tastes, excuse me, aged a little bit. Not that you get the barrel, that you get the barrel, but that you have so so much full flavor in it. Um, I don't I don't particularly enjoy the flavor that's in yeah, it. It's, but there, it, it's it's strong. It's bold. It's um, it's a very bold tequila taste. Um, it's not very rich or floral. I mean, I, you know, I kind of get like a, a, a floral, earthy kind of. When you put it on. On the rocks. On, on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. And let it sit. As, now, as it sits, it does get to begin to taste better. And you get to get more of the uh, flavors and aroma from it. But as as that neat shot, oh my God. Yeah. If, if you. If you this is, one, I always mess with people all the time and say, hey, you, you, you pay for Patron, um, but you probably couldn't tell Patron from any other tequila. You could definitely pick so, Patron yeah. from this um, because it is, the Blanco is so strong yeah. and it's so flavorful. Probably most people couldn't pick a Patron from an 1800. Um, wow. Maybe, but I mean, you know, we drink a lot. And if, yeah. if you drink it a lot, then maybe. But I would, I would, I would, I'd go to any bar and on the average person, I'd wager that you probably couldn't pick the two between each other. Oh, um, and Patron is is so the block the the silver is so light. Um, definitely, this is a bold and just in your face kind of flavor. And for a tequila standpoint, which I like tequila, but uh, I would mm, I don't I don't know I just I, I don't it's not my favorite. Um, I, I definitely, for me, um, it's a flop. I just, if, I, if I'm going to drink a tequila, I want it to be maybe aged a little bit more. Um, and I can get more of the, the sweeter notes from it. Yeah. Um, instead of, this reminds me of uh, once I've tried bourbon or whiskey straight from the barrel. It was a blonde, oh, yeah. and it was really bold and strong, but it didn't have uh, the the aging, the the you know the the it didn't have the, the wood breathed breathed into it, um, so it was different, uh, and I I feel the same way about this. So for me, it, it's a it's a flop yeah. too. So that looks like two flops. Yeah, um, I, I you know if you're a tequila person and you and you and you like the boldness and uh, uh, aged, but you like the silver. 
Um, hey, Corleo is is definitely the way to go. Uh, I can definitely see why you probably don't see a lot about it because it's it's such a different flavor than the average tequilas yeah. that I've tasted in the U.S. Yeah, I think this is um, I, I think this is like a small market tequila. Yeah. Um, you either like it or you don't like you it. Like it. Or you don't. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's it's definitely not the uh, non tequila drinker. You you yeah, have to yeah. love the agave, unaged, straight out of the steel kind of taste. For but, sure. I mean, it wasn't. Was it wasn't horrible? Well, you said it was horrible. The shot was horrible. Yeah, but on the, only, on the rocks, only, it wasn't horrible. It was only horrible. It it was very clean, but it had because I don't like the tequila taste. Yeah. It didn't have. It went down very clean, very smooth. Yeah, no real burn. Yeah. Um, no major burn. It had some burn to it, it but it was it's it. bold, bold flavor. But it, it it just had that overwhelming tequila taste that I don't like. Yeah. So if you like, I said, if you love tequila, you love that flavor that comes with tequila, but you maybe you like silvers more. Give give Corleo a try. Um, but if you like tequila more on the Patron side, which is a lighter, fluffier, I don't. I don't think that this is going to be. This is not going to be. The it's not one for you. Yeah, so. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, this has been another episode of Joe's and Man. Uh, Coralejo looks like sorry, but it's going to be a flop from Jones and Man. Uh, but we'll keep, trying, we'll keep looking out there, and we'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like, subscribe. Um, be sure to click that ding, that yeah, bell. Click that bell for So us. you can get episodes, new episodes every Friday. And we'll see you next time. I'm Jones and Man.